In this video, I'm just going to show you all the new features in Procreate 4.2. Welcome to Stave Draws. I'm Stave, a Dutch illustrator and animator, and I just made an update for my ebook, Procreate 4 Video Manual. And in this video, I'm just going to show you the last chapter, and that's all about Procreate 4.2. And the advantage of uh, buying the ebook is that you have everything contained about Procreate 4. So if you want to look up some things, uh, it will have all of the videos um, and also the text so you can you know type in in the search bar if you're looking for a certain feature of procreate then you can look it up in the ebook and i'll leave a link in the description box down below if you already bought it uh, all the updates for procreate 4 are for free and if you don't have uh, ibooks in your country I've also made it available on Vimeo On Demand. So I'll leave a link in the description box down uh, below as well. And if you want to keep updated on my channel and all the videos I'll put out, uh, just subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit that notification bell because each time I upload a new video, you get a notification. Now I'm going to show you uh, Procreate 4.2 and all the new features. Chapter 11. Procreate 4.2. What's new? In this chapter I'll cover all of the new features and minor updates in Procreate 4.2. There are some great new features added. How to check your Procreate version. You can check the version of Procreate when you are in the gallery and tap on the name Procreate in the upper left corner. Then a new window opens with the version built. This chapter is made with version 4.2.2. .2. Tap on the screen or on the X in the upper right corner to return to the gallery. Gallery Preview When you are in the gallery, you can watch previews of your artworks. Place two fingers on a thumbnail and pinch them out. Your artwork will be displayed and you can swipe through your artworks in preview mode. When you tap once on the screen, two arrows are shown, where you can also navigate from left or right and an X in the upper right corner to return to the gallery. To open up an artwork in preview mode, double tap on the screen. To return to the gallery, you can also pinch two fingers in. Actions. Open a new canvas and then tap on the Actions button. The first tab has changed. It has a different icon and name. It used to be called Image. Now it's called Add. Crop and Resize. Under the Canvas tab, there's a new long-awaited feature. Crop and Resize. Tap on it and a new window opens. Now you can crop, resize and rotate your canvas. Grab a corner and crop and resize your canvas. Notice that below the width and height are changing. The bigger you resize the canvas, the less layers you will be able to use. You can also type the exact dimensions you want when you tap on the text field. Resample. Toggle on Resample to keep the same aspect ratio when you want to crop or resize your canvas. Rotation. With the slider you can rotate your canvas 45 degree clockwise and counterclockwise. Reset. Reset in the upper right corner. If you want to go back one step at a time, tap with two fingers on the screen. To redo, Tap with three fingers on the screen. Done. Press on Done in the upper right corner to crop and resize your canvas. Adjustments. Tap on Adjustments and then on Liquify. There are two new Liquify options, Crystal and Edge. Crystal. Tap on Crystal to make your adjustments. Crystal distort with a ripple effect. Liquify Dynamics Adjust the distortion slider to increase the distortion. 
adjust the momentum slider to increase the momentum of your distortion. At 100% you can swipe across your screen and see the momentum effect happen. The crystal effect is great for creating fur or grass in your artwork. Edge. With edge you can create edges in your artwork. When you want a sharper edge on an object, use the edge option. You can adjust the size, pressure and momentum of your brush with the sliders. Tap on reset to reset your adjustments. Selection. In selection there are new options. Rectangle. Tap on rectangle to make a selection with the rectangle. You can keep adding selections with the rectangle or freehand and ellipse. Tap on clear to deselect. Ellipse. Tap on ellipse to make a selection with the ellipse. You can keep adding sections with the rectangle or freehand tools. Tap on clear to deselect. Feather. When you have made a selection, you can soften the edges by tapping on feather. Adjust the amount of feathering with the sliders. You can also make a selection and duplicate it to a new layer. The selection will have softer edges. Drawing. Quick shape. You can now draw a perfect rectangle, square, circle and ellipse using the quick shape feature. Quick shape used to be called quick line and you could draw straight lines with it. Now Procreate recognizes a shape you're drawing and quick shape will snap to the closest shape it resembles. Ellipse. Draw a shape in a circle like motion and quick shape creates an ellipse. If you hold the ellipse you can resize it. You can also draw a perfect circle. Draw a circle and hold it until quick shape creates an ellipse. Then tap and hold your finger on the screen and the ellipse will turn into a perfect circle. You can now draw a rectangle or a perfect square using quick shape. Draw a rectangle and hold your stylus on the screen. Quick shape will draw a rectangle for you. Drawing a perfect square. Draw a square on the screen and hold your pencil until Quick Shapes makes the square. Then place a finger on the screen and a perfect square is formed. Edit Shape. On top of the screen, the Edit Shape button appears. Tap on it to choose between ellipse, circle, or quadrilateral. You can now make adjustments with the blue dots around the shape. Draw a polyline. You can also draw a random line with jagged edges. When you hold your stylus on the screen, a polyline is created. When you tap on the button Edit Shape, you can edit all the anchor points of your polyline. This looks like a vector based feature, but the polyline is still a pixel line. Transform. Interpolation methods. When you have made a selection of an object, tap on the Transform tool. In the menu below is a new button called Interpolation. Press on it and four new buttons are shown below. They all have their own way of scaling, rotating and transforming an object. Nearest Neighbor. Select nearest neighbor if you need sharp jagged edges in your transform. Bilinear. Select bilinear if you want a smoother transform with two square pixels surrounding the interpolation. Bicubic. Select bicubic if you want a smoother transform with four square pixels surrounding the interpolation. This will give the smoothest result. Rotation node. When you have selected an object with the selection tool and turn on the transform tool, a new node is shown on top of the selection. It is the green rotation node. 
When you press on it, you can rotate your selection. Brushes Stroke Taper You now have more control over your stroke taper with all of your brushes. Tap on the brush icon and select a brush. Tap on the brush in the brush panel to open the brush adjustments. Select the first tab below called Stroke. A new section for Stroke Taper has been added to Procreate 4.2. It is divided into Pressure Taper and Touch Taper. Pressure Taper. Taper Amount. These two sliders will control the amount of taper on each side of the stroke. When you slide them to the middle, the taper will be strongest. When you tap on the link icon in between of the two sliders, the tapers will be locked. Sides Adjust the size of your taper with the slider. Opacity Control the amount of opacity of your taper with the slider. Pressure This slider will taper the effect of the amount of pressure you apply to your stroke. At higher values, the pressure you apply to your brush will be tapered off at the end of the stroke. Tip Adjust the shape of your taper to a sharp or rounded taper. When you pull the slider to the far left, your point will be sharp. When you pull the slider to the far right, your point will be round. Tip Animation Turn the toggle Tip Animation on if you want to see a live preview of your taper while you're drawing. Turn the toggle off to see the taper after you have put down your stroke. Touch Taper When you draw with your finger you can now adjust the settings of your taper accordingly. The adjustments are the same as the adjustments in Pressure Taper, except Pressure and Tip Animation are missing. Layers Clipping Masks In the layer window there is a new option called Clipping Masks. With Clipping Masks you can control the visibility of your layer. Clipping Masks only work on top of another layer. When you select your lowest layer, the clipping mask won't work. Turning an existing layer into a clipping mask. Tap on a layer you've already drawn on and turn it into a clipping mask. Select clipping mask from the menu. Your layer is now turned into a clipping mask for the layer underneath. You can draw inside the shape of the layer below. You can also draw inside the objects you've drawn on the parent layer. It is almost the same when you're using Alpha Lock to draw inside an object, but with clipping masks you have a wider range of possibilities. With clipping masks you can draw on a separate layer and not destroy the object underneath. With clipping masks the layer below is the parent layer. Creating a new clipping mask layer. Create an empty layer by pressing on the plus sign in the upper right corner. Tap on the layer and choose Clipping Mask from the menu. You can now draw inside the parent layer in your Clipping Mask. Creating Multiple Clipping Masks You can create multiple Clipping Masks. Create a new layer and select Clipping Masks from the menu. This Clipping Mask also affects the parent layer from your first Clipping Mask layer. If you have multiple Clipping Masks layers, you can also rearrange them by dragging the layer up or down. Moving Clipping Masks You can move your clipping masks in the layer menu and attach it to another parent layer. Just drag the clipping mask layer above another parent layer. Clipping Masks Transform and Actions You can transform clipping masks the same way as normal layers. Use the Transform tool to adjust the content of your Clipping Mask layer. When you swipe from right to left on your Clipping Mask layer, you can lock, duplicate and delete it. Turn off Clipping Mask You can turn off a Clipping Mask by tapping on the layer and select Clipping Masks from the menu. You can also drag your Clipping Mask layer 
to the bottom of your layer stack. Then the clipping mask layer will become a normal layer. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like it please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell because each time I upload a new video you get a notification. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles!